Another very common method of defense is uh, called escaping with the kin from the danger zone. In order to understand uh, how to use uh, this uh, method, I would like uh, to give you association. Imagine uh, the following situation. Your house is on fire and you don't have time to extinguish uh, the fire. So what you will be doing? You will be trying to escape the burning uh, house. And the similar in chess. When the opponent is playing for attack and you don't have time or the resources to stop the attack of the opponent, uh, then you must think how to escape with the king from the danger zone. And uh, here on the diagram I have the position from the game Nemtsovich uh, Birger, where white is ready to launch the match of the pawns and to begin the attack of the king on g8. It looks like the black position is very very bad because it is n there is no clear way how black can stop the advance of the pawns h4 and uh, g5. But nevertheless uh, black uh, position is not bad. Black has very very good chances to survive uh, here. But of course in order to survive you need to remember about this method of defense. And here the best defense would be to play knight d7, h4 and now f6. So the idea of black to play king f7, king e7, king d6 and later if necessary the king can go to c7, b8 and e8. If now white makes the move bishop c1 then after king f7, g5, hg, hg, king e7, the position is equal. Because black has a very, very solid pawn chain and the king is very, very safe behind this pawn chain. And it is very difficult for white to try to win the pawn on g7 because Attacking the pawn g7 will also expose the king on g1. The same opening of the g line can be very, very dangerous for white. So the best move uh, g5, so the best move in the position for white is the move g5. And now white creates the threat of cutting off the king and remaining it on the square g8. For example, the move hg here would be a mistake because after bishop h5, white wants to play bishop g6, open the h line and then to try to give the mate along the h line. Also after the move g5, king f7 would be a mistake because after gh gh the pawn h6 will sooner or later be lost and here white has an advantage so the correct move would be fg hg and now black is conducting the method of defense that we were already talking about before the method is called the exchanges of uh, the pieces to reduce the pressure in the position and after queen g5, queen g5, hg, bishop c1, knight f6, bishop g5, king uh, f7. So white uh, uh, position is only slightly better. Because uh, there is no any chance for white to conduct the attack on the king. And also the pair of bishops is not so strong in the open position. So here black has all reasonable uh, chances. To make a draw here. But let's look uh, what can happen and what really happened in the game if you don't use and you don't apply the correct method of uh, defense. Black uh, in this uh, game didn't know this method of defense to escape with the king and he decided to try to stop the advance of the pawns on the king side and playing too passively. So he played now a uh, rook e8, h4, knight h7, bishop f1, f6. But now we can see that 
White can improve the position, bring also rook a1 into play to the square g2, and then preparing the move g5. And even if a lot of pieces will be exchanged on g5, the king will never be safe uh, here on g8. But even if the king manages to escape, sooner or later the pawn g7 will be lost. So now the position of uh, black is strategically lost uh, here. So white is using the principle of play that before you begin the active play on the side of the board, you need to improve the position of all your pieces and you need uh, to bring all your pieces into play. So rook f2, rook c7, rook uh, g2, queen e7, queen h3, so slowly but uh, surely white improves the position. After the move rook dd6, before playing uh, the move rook g1, white makes a very strong prophylactical move. Also, the move a4 follows the same chess principle. It should not be in a hurry. And if you can improve uh, your position even for a little bit, you should do it before beginning active play. Because in this situation, maybe it, it is not so important, but there are a lot of... Lot of uh, Positions where it can make a difference. So no matter which position you have on board, you should try to make uh, useful moves to improve your position to the maximum before you begin active concrete uh, play on other pot, part of the board. So bishop c8, rook hg1, a6, rook h2, king h8. And now we can see that at this moment all white pieces are standing on the best uh, squares. It is no longer possible to improve anything in this position and only at this moment white opens the position on the king side. g5, fg, hg, b5. The counterplay of black comes too late in this position. And after ab, ab, queen h4, c4, gh, queen h4, hg, king g8, rook h4, black resigned uh, here. So very very good and important example of uh, defense to remember. Now let's look at another example where Tigran Petrosyan was using this same method of uh, defense. Here we have uh, the position from the game of him against uh, the player DS del Corral. If you look at this position, then you can see that black king is in danger. White wants to play queen g5, h5, and after exchanges, he wants uh, to double the rook along the h line and play for attack of the king. But if you look at this position further, then you can see that if the king g8 would stand on b7, there is absolutely no single chance to white, for white to play for attack. And then we can see that the pawn structure of black is much, much better, because uh, white has double pawns d3 and d4, and black has the majority on the queen side. It means uh, that the chances to create the past pawn on the queen side. So it means that if uh, black manages uh, to save uh, his skin, to solve the problem of his uh, bad kin, he would have a strategically winning uh, position. And the method of defense here is to play kin f8, queen g5, kin e8. The kin is marching to the square b7, where it would be absolutely safe. Rook a c1, king d7, h5, g h, rook h5, rook g8, rook h7, king c8, queen h4, queen g6. So now we can see that after the exchanges, the king has found a safe square, b7. And now black has a strategically winning position, which he later converted into a full point with little trouble. Now let's look at another position where black used the same method of uh, play. So this is the position from the game Ravinsky-Kotov. 
So the king on uh, g8 is not very very safe and at this position white wants to play knight g3, knight h5, queen h7 with idea bishop g6. And of course we can understand that the king on g8 is not safe here. It would be better to have king in the center or even on the king side. Also if we look uh, further in this position we can uh, find very very interesting possibility of attack of the white king along the h line and this is what it is black uh, trying to achieve making uh, the move uh, king f7 knight g3 king e7 black wants uh, to play rook h8 h5 and h4 so after queen e2 attacking the pawn on g4 Black gets a chance to conduct a small combination leading to a winning uh, position. So h5 is a very very strong move. Knight h5, rook h8. So if not to take on g4 now, for example to make the move knight g3, then black would be winning after the move rook h4, rook h8 and no defense against rook h1 check and queen h2 mate. So white played here queen g4. And now black is winning with the help of the move. Rook h5, queen h5, rook h8, queen, bishop h7, bishop e4, f4, queen b2, queen g5, bishop f6. And although in this uh, position there are technical difficulties for black, so without much uh, trouble black won this uh, game. Another excellent example of the method of defense 